we want those days back when being conservative was cool. We want the guy who's going to stand there and be a happy warrior and be happy to be conservative, be proudly conservative, and be the leader that just says, hey, come with me to happy conservative land and be that guy that we rally behind. And we want that. I can understand that. And I, you know, I would, I would love to have that as well. And I, and the Democrats had that with Barack Obama. He, he, they had the image. They had the guy that they could celebrate and cheer for and rally for and follow and then be super proud of themselves because they had done this amazing thing. And isn't it awesome? And isn't America wonderful? Because look, we elected this guy. Aren't we all wonderful people? We feel good about ourselves. Well, we want we. It's natural for Republicans to want that again. I don't know in this crop of candidates that we're going to have that. I think somehow we're going to have to find that in ourselves. But we are kind of a hero worship culture, and there really isn't a hero out there for us to worship. So Reagan is the most. I, no, but Reagan is there as the recollection of oh wasn't that a the fond recollection of wasn't that a great time you know like people used to think of Camelot Reagan is the easy button the, mm -hmm. I really don't want to work super hard to get conservatives elected so let's just have a perfect candidate come up and do all the hard work for us because it's hard it's tough it's tough being on the campaign trail here's the other thing what are we getting when we keep coming back to you know Rush, Levin, bloggers, whatever, um, the people who have these amplified voices, which is great in rallying the, the conservatives, those people don't have to implement policy. I mean, Leslie talked about that earlier, but it needs to be restated. They are not in charge of moving things, and what we're expecting is our politicians to talk like our talk show hosts and still get elected and those hosts don't have the broad um, appeal that say an Ellen or the view does they have a niche appeal and that niche is not going to win the election and the sooner we face that the better it's the same thing on the left where leftists get to espouse a lot of ideas that don't cost them anything they're not you know, they get to say, we'd like to see that problem fixed, but there's, they're not going to have to do it. They're just going to have to take your money to do it. And, and someone off in Washington will implement it. Well, the same goes for our rather amplified voices on the right that can talk about how a politician ought to speak and talk about whether they're on or off message as viewed by their prism, but they don't have to implement that. Right, and a, a talk show host is, or or a blogger, is an you know an analyst and a person who discusses rather than like you said, implementing, negotiating, coming up with an actual workable solution. And if you are someone who, as a politician with experience, has come up with workable solutions, that's going to be something that people can hate you for. That's why our mystery anonymous guy is always the hero candidate. It was Herman Cain last go around. It's Ben Carson this go around. The guy who has never actually done anything politically, so he doesn't have any mistakes that he's made. And he talks a good game, which is awesome and charming and wonderful. And we don't have anything that we can criticize him for so all of our he's the blank slate like Barack Obama all of my hopes and dreams can go into this I really want Ben Carson and I'm using Ben Carson because Ryan mentioned him earlier and it's the name it you know on the tip of my tongue here um, but we have our anonymous candidates that we choose and it's generally somebody that you know, we'll say, I would, oh, he'd be a great president. And then you ask somebody, well, why? Um, because he made a good speech. Oh, okay. There was that one time when Obama was really pissed off with what he said. That was pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that was that great. Part. Yeah, make him be president. Yeah. 
I, I just want to to sort of uh, add on to something that Fishy said a while back. So, so Fishy, what you're saying is that not every conservative candidate gets to have Texas as their home state and can campaign as Ted Cruz. Like the Ted Cruz model is not viable across the country. Is that is that what you're saying? Wouldn't you think that it would be? Because we're homogenous, we are all the same, everyone everywhere has the same views and responds the same way to the same language. Lord deliver me. Yes, that would be a one size fits all approach to campaigning, wouldn't it? Which uh Good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah good callback. 